Hello everybody, it's Jen. It's release time for the winter release with Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to be using this mini stamp set called Smitten. It is adorable with these two little mittens that are just smitten with each other. So the stamp set comes with the sentiment, I'm smitten with you, which is super sweet as well. So I'm going to get started on creating the card and I'm stamping this out on some Bristol Smooth cardstock using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I am going to go ahead and heat emboss this with some clear embossing powder. I'm going to be using my brush markers today to color this image and I do like to use embossing powder to get that nice shiny look. It also helps create little crevices and areas where you can keep your color contained and it doesn't spread when you add water. So here I'm starting to color my image and I decided to color the mittens two different colors. I know that it would probably make sense if they were the same color if they're a pair of mittens but I wanted to just add a little bit more color to the card and tie in the pattern paper that I'm going to be using. So I chose to color her a purple and then I'm going to color him in a turquoise color. I am using three different colors for each of them. So I'm using a dark purple, a mid-toned purple, and then a light purple. I did want them to match a little bit so I decided to color his little patch and the cuff in the purple and that way you can kind of tell that they are a match because they have both of the same colors on them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend out the colors now with my water brush. I like to use a circular motion when I'm coloring with my brush markers. I just find you get a smoother blend this way. So I typically outline my images and then I will use the water brush to pull that color through. If I start to get too much ink onto my water brush, I will dab it off on a paper towel because I want to make sure that I leave a highlight to the center of the mitten. So I want it to be lightest in the center. So I don't want to pick up too much of that darkest color and bring that towards the middle. So once I get her colored up, I will color up the little guy here, his little purple accents, and then I'll go ahead and bring in the turquoise colors. Similarly, with the purple, I'm going to use three markers as well. Again, a dark, a medium or mid-tone color, and then a light color. And I'll go ahead and add that turquoise to her little heart, which I think is absolutely adorable and her cuff as well. So with the darkest marker, I'm just outlining where the darkest shadows would be. Then I'll add the mid-tone color and pull that out quite a bit more. The large majority of the ink that I'm laying down onto the image will be my lightest color. Now he's a little bit bigger than she is, so I did have to add quite a bit more ink to ensure that I could pull that and have the color go through the entire image. Now I don't know if you can notice but at the top of him there's a little white spot and I guess I had gotten some of the embossing powder on the inside of his head there and didn't realize it until now and because I had already colored her up I didn't want to start over. So in my head I'm trying to figure out how I can fix this while I go ahead and color up the image. So you can see here I'm using that circular motion. My brush got a little bit dry so I did squeeze out some water but you want to make sure that your brush is damp and not fully saturated so I did wipe that out quite a bit onto my paper towel. And if I feel like it's still a little bit too wet, I'll go ahead and try to dry that off on the paper towel as much as possible. Again, just making sure to dab off some of that ink as I color so that I can have that nice highlight to the center of the mitten. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with the coordinating die, which is really cute because it cuts it quite closely to the little thumbs. Super easy to die cut or to fussy cut as well. So there's the image and here's what I decided to do to fix this little bald patch, I guess, on the top of his head. I thought I could 
get away with fixing this by adding some glitter. So I added some adhesive to his head and then I wanted to bring in some more of the glitter so I also put a line from the tip of the thumb down that side of the mitten. I'm going to go ahead and tap that off. Now I did need to add more adhesive to where that embossing powder was on the top of that mitten but eventually I do get it so that it's covered and you can't tell that the color did not stick underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter to her as well so that they're both nice and sparkly. And then I'm going to take my craft pick and just chip away at some of the glitter on top of his head. Because I had to add that extra glitter, it did kind of build up a little, but I wanted it to dry before I started playing with it, or at least dry a little bit. So I'm just, you can see, I'm just very gently trying to get some of that glitter off and then it looks perfect. So now on to creating the card. I'm using this knit cable uh, embossing folder and I thought this would be the perfect background for the mittens. So I just embossed that onto some light lilac uh, cardstock that I had in my stash. Did need to trim up the card panel a little bit here or the card base. And then I can go ahead and add my heart onto the center of the card. So this is some doodle bug paper. This is an old collection trying to use up what I have in my stash, but this was the inspiration for the colors that I chose for the card. And I thought the heart would just be a nice focal point to have our little mittens to the side on. So I went ahead and stamped out the sentiment and heat embossed that as well so it would match the heat embossed outlines of the image. I'm going to go ahead and just cut that one side on an angle. Now I wanted to have the white showing through where there's that little V between the mittens. So you're going to see I'm going to place this down. I'm using the line from the pattern paper to ensure that this is straight checking to make sure that you can see that white behind the mittens there to the middle bottom. I felt like that just allowed it to pop off the page a little bit more. I did put them up on some foam adhesive just so that they would be raised off the card. And then going to add a few highlights here with my white gel pen, just a couple, to again add a little bit more detail to these little cuties. So once I did that, I wanted to add some bling. So I'm using the Trinity Stamps Jelly Drop Hearts. I'm using the Blackberry Bliss and the Berry Blue mix as well. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but they are purple and blue, so they match nicely. Now the Art Glitter Glue that I'm using here will dry clear. So once it's dry, you can't tell that I've glued these onto the card. So if you look at the still photos of this card, it is transparent. Love these little embellishments. I thought that they just finished off the card nicely. So that's the project for today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini stamp from the winter release. There's lots of goodies coming your way for the winter release, so I can't wait to share more projects with you. The design team has created some amazing projects, so don't forget to follow Trinity Stamps on Instagram and Facebook. They also have a Facebook page where you can share your creations. I'll leave all that information down in the description box below. Have a fantastic day, everyone. See you soon. Bye.